Kicked aside by Vogel. Lanouette from the left point. Rister scores! That's the flex off with a fender out in front. And Chris Lanouette will get the storm out to an early 1-0 lead. 4-38 in the period number one. Game two of this North Division quarterfinal series. Best of five. Storm, thanks to a 4-1 win last night, have a 1-0 series lead. Here comes Reedman. Back in for the Crusaders. Across to Gruninger. Shot scores! Tyson Gruninger gained control back, back of the puck after it was briefly blocked by a Storm defender and finds room upstairs on Ethan Slobogin to tie this game up at 1. 13-37. Time of that goal for the Short Park Crusaders as Storm dangerously close to going offside there. Is Misho now trying to play it ahead. Como. To the left wing corner for power. He'll rim it around back to Hubner at the right point. Playing it down low for Como. Right wing corner. Hubner stays down there in support. Now works it back up the half wall. Misho back at his scores! Make that three on the playoffs for Edward Misho. And the Storm have a 2-1 lead. As he goes. Short side glove on Brandon Bogle. They try to set up Ryan Cox for a one-timer from that right face-off dot. Stewart down low, couldn't get a shot away. Goes after and picks it up again. Atwal, shot, they made it loose in front, they score! Ethan Slobogin lost sight of that puck. He's claiming interference on the play, but credit Andrew Atwal for following up, looking for that loose puck. And it's a power play goal for the Sherwood Park Crusaders. To tie this game up at two. Lanouette will play that deep in the Sherwood Park territory. Crusaders with a huge edge and shot so far here in overtime. Seven to make that ten to one. Another chance there for Stewart. Knocked away by Slobogin. Now behind the net. Trying to work it back in front is Miller. To the blue line for McLeod. Snaps that to the goal. Deflected. They score! Dylan Stewart found the puck in behind Ethan Slobogin and backhands it in. And the Sherwood Park Crusaders have tied up this best of five series. Dylan Stewart, who was the storm killer during the regular season. What a time for him to get his first of the AJHL playoffs. Scoring at the 8.20 mark of overtime. And the Sherwood Park Crusaders who had the lion's share of the momentum and the pressure in the overtime period, will tie up this best-of-five series at one game apiece with a 3-2 overtime win over the Storm tonight.